your first alert forecast with meteorologist Hannah Messier. Hannah's here now with our weather-wise question. What do you got for us this morning? Our question is about what we can expect in the month of September. Let's take a peek. In a typical September, how many days have high temperatures in the 60s? Is it A, 5 days, B, 7 days, C, 9 days, or D, 11 days? I'll let Rebecca ponder the question for a few minutes, and we're going to look at September averages. Now this average temperature for today, the average high is 79 degrees, but by September 30th, 69 degrees is going to be the high. In terms of overnight lows today, September 1st, typically lows in the mid to upper 50s, but by September 30th, average lows in the mid 40s. Precipitation, this isn't the highest precipitation a month in Iowa. We usually get about 3.40 inches. Now your first alert has all green boxes highlighted on it. We're not expecting any impacts in the next 24 hours. On our Iowa City City Cam, it's a quiet start to the day. The sun is going to rise though and that's going to bring some spectacular views of the sunrise in about a few minutes. 63 degrees in Cedar Rapid 68 in Iowa City and 64 in Washington with dew points in the 50s and 60s. Nice clear skies are everywhere in eastern Iowa. Everyone's going to see plenty of that sunshine. And last night we had a cold front come through the area. Now that cold front is further off to the south. That is allowing some cooler air to make its way into eastern Iowa. So highs today will be a little bit cooler compared to yesterday. And dry conditions are expected to persist for quite a while because of this high pressure system situated over the northern Midwest. Now we have clear conditions across all of eastern Iowa expected today thanks to that high pressure system. Winds coming out of the north. So we head into the afternoon. Nice clear conditions all the way through the day. Overnight tonight a clear sky. Monday morning waking up to some sunshine. Highs today rising into the 70s. 78 in Oskaloosa, 77 in Waterloo and 73 in Decorah with winds coming out of the north 10 to 20. And as we head into the overnight hours, we'll have temperatures dropping into the 40s and 50s. 47 in Fayette, 51 in Waterloo, and 49 in Washington, with winds out of the north 5 to 10. Now we do have a slight chance for some showers and storms later this week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday all look pretty dry as we see conditions stay dry all the way through Wednesday. But watch what happens on Thursday. A cold front's going to come through the area, bringing in isolated to scattered showers and storms to the area along the cold front. As the system moves to the southeast, we'll have drier conditions on Friday. Temperatures also expected to be pretty nice for our start of September. We have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all seasonal air in the area. But notice what happens Friday and into next weekend. Some cooler air drops in from Canada. We'll have our first little taste of some fall-like temperatures potentially Friday and into next weekend. In terms of dew points, they're going to stay pretty comfortable the next several days. 50s, 53 on Sunday for our dew point, 52 on Tuesday. In the next few days, highs pretty much staying in the 70s. Sunny for Labor Day, mostly sunny on Tuesday for the start of the work week. Dry on Wednesday, a little bit warmer Wednesday and Thursday, though. Friday and into next weekend, highs in the low 70s. And now back to our weather-wise question. Rebecca, what do you think the answer is? I feel like in, oh, in the 60s, I thought it said 70s. Now my entire thinking process is twist around. I'm going to go seven days B. Very good. <gasps> we typically have about seven days with highs in the 60s in September. I'm looking forward to that. Those kind of chill days, not super cold, but like enough to wear like a light sweater and then kind of drink something hot outside. I think that sounds kind of nice. Uh, I think everyone's going to enjoy that. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Hannah. Now here's Jack with your